Hello everybody, hope everyone's okay. Um, so I'm really sorry about the late um, vlog this week, I've had loads of things going on. Um, today is our, um, we are three away now from ending the season. Um, today we're playing Southampton, um, course to one kick off if I'm right. Um, I, uh, we've got quite a few things to talk about I suppose. Um, the last match um was so intense it was amazing though wasn't it um i'm really really um upset the kev's out now um because i think although at times you know you could be uh, you know, everyone give him a, a lot of stick um because people said oh you know all he does is fall over all, all he does is this um the last match it it was absolutely um, unreal to watch Kevin. Um, I think he made up a lot as well for Romelu because a lot of the time, I know people keep saying, you know, you've got to put the ball there for him and he'll score. There was times when it was put there and he didn't score. Um, I know that's something that's, it's one of them things, but I think he was just trying to make up for the fact that there was a lot of chances that were lost. Obviously he did score because you know it's Kev um that's what he does um he gets a lot of stick but I think after that you know he he, he deserves all the praise that he's got unfortunately what that means now is is that um Kev's injured so he's out now for the rest of the season um I, was it worth it yeah so was worth it it was a win at the end of the day wasn't it the three points is all that matters um it's only a slight gory injury, isn't it? You know, he, he should be fine, I would imagine. Um, keeping him out for the rest of the season is probably the best thing to do. I mean, if they could f probably force it back, um, but it's obviously not the best thing for Kev. Um, so hopefully he'll get better soon. And um, I would imagine who's going to replace him? Um, ugh, probably either be McGeezy or Delafeu, won't it? Um, I know there's been a lot of rumours surrounding recently that Delafeu is going to be staying for another season now. Um, it's not being confirmed by the club yet. Um, well, we know that because Roberto's not one, is he, for um, talking about stuff like that till the end of the season. We already know that he's not interested in um, discussing anything about the players till then because all that matters is the football. Um, so when the time comes, hopefully... Fingers crossed that um, Jerry is gonna stay. I just while I'm on this, I apologise for looking so bad right now. I've had like literally no sleep. Um, I'm not well. You can tell by my voice that I'm not well. Um, and yes, yeah, um, but I'm still here. Um, so that's what I'm doing. Um, moving on. Distan and Jagielka both out today. Um, which. Jags doesn't really make no difference, does it? Because John's been fulfilling that role now for quite some time. Like we, we've been, we, we've been saying quite often. Um, the only thing for me is, is that um, Alcaraz played well the other day when um, when Distan came off. But I don't know whether he's a full ninety minute match fit. And I know there was with Martinez, he, he give a little bit of a hint of the um, the youth players um, playing. So that would mean it'd be Tyus you probably play instead. Um, I think that's a little bit too much for John, in all fairness. Um, he's only a kid himself, and he gets so much stick anyway. Being the senior one out of the two, and the one who's had more gameplay um, for first team, I think that might be a little bit too much weight on, on John to do something like that. So I'm hoping that Alcaraz can fulfill a full 90 minutes and I'm hoping that you know that it, it does work I mean they are they're very good together I think we've seen John and Alcaraz play together before um and they've been a really really nice match for each other maybe not as much as what John and Distan are or anything like that but then there could be a surprise today Jaggy Elka might come back might just come back early who knows um he is set to come back for um City I think um, so I would imagine it'd be him and John who were playing for City, um, which I'm not too sure how that's going to work because based on seeing them play together before, um, it I don't know it uh, it doesn't look too right when they play together. There there seems to be some some issues there, but hopefully that's all done and dusted now and they'll be fine together. Um, so yeah, full recovery hopefully to all the guys who are out at the minute. Um, still dead sad over Kevin though. 
Um, other than that, um, I think today we can't take it lightly. I agree with what I've seen uh, quite a few people saying this online. Um, although we've only got three games left and people keep going, oh, well, you know, we'll be fine, don't worry. What about Man City next week? Stop thinking about Man City next week. Think about Southampton today. Southampton are going to be a really, really hard. They're hard anyway. Um, they're a hard team to play. And um, they really, really are good. And they've got some really key players like Lallana. Um, the, you can't misjudge it. Um, that's what happens at Palace, I think. It was misjudged. Um, so then that cost us big time. We could be in a completely different position right now if we hadn't have misjudged that and so on and so forth. So I think today key focus should be the game at hands. Let's not even talk about anyone else right now. Three games still to go. Um, and I think today we'll do fine. Um, I think that predictions-wise, I, I would say it's probably going to be 2-0. Um, but I, I, uh, it's probably not. So I, I'd say 3-1. I'm going to go with 3-1. 3-1 today, yeah. Um, and I think our goal scorers will probably probably be Delafeu, Naismith and Lukaku. Um, if we get all three, or you know, maybe Naismith twice, he likes to do that. Um, um, or even Delafeu twice, uh, yeah. You know, you never know. You never know. Lukaku might score all three. Um, and that'd be quite amazing to watch. Um, I give him a hug next time I see him. <laughs> um, so yeah, I hope today we have a really good game, and I hope that um, everything fits in well. Um, considering some of the, some of the issues that we've got at the moment. Um, I'm really looking forward to next season, although I am super mega sad um, that <laughs> that this season's coming to an end in a couple of weeks. Um, it's been absolutely unreal, and I've met some of like, the coolest people in the entire world um, since I've been doing it, and I've had the pleasure to start working with Everton in the community and doing all that with them. And... Um, it's going to be really sad like to have three months where I'm just not doing nothing. <laughs> so what I'm going to do with myself. Um, but other than that, next week um, for the City game, it's getting closer and closer. Um, Aiden and Frank are coming over. I said this last time. So what I'm going to be doing is from the City game, I'm probably going to do like a live vlog from Goodison with them. Because um, Aiden said yeah. Um, so I don't know about Frank. Yeah, I'll have to talk to Frank about that because he might not want to get involved. Um... So yeah, me and all the girls and, and Aiden for now um are gonna be doing um a live vlog from the city game from Goodison, um, which will be really nice. Um end of season roundup, me and Susanna are gonna be doing um a vlog together as well, which I'm really excited for. Um that should be really sweet. Um and I think we're just gonna do it basically about the whole season, um talk about like the players our new players um what's going to be happening next season martinez um how it's ruled up against previous years um and so on and so forth um it's probably going to be like a big stat party i suppose <laughs> um and just giving our predictions on the other teams how we've played where we are on the table what we've qualified for and so on and so forth um other than that um, I hope everyone has a lovely time watching the game. Everyone check out on the page, the Everton Republic page, um, for our links to all the games if you haven't got it already. Um, I am probably going to go back to sleep because I am absolutely shattered. Um, and I need to check up on um, on Scott because he's still not well. I hope he gets better. He's made me dead sad. And as anyone knows, I was so worried yesterday. Um, but... So I need to go and get sleep and I uh, hopefully will speak to you all later. I might do a little video later um, about the game. Um, I'll see how I feel um, and, and so on and so forth. So I hope everyone's okay. Um, have a lovely weekend and I will speak to you all soon. Bye.